so don't tell anyone. But at 6.30 on Sunday morning, I might have been a little bit tired and forgotten to record my introduction. Or, more accurately, forgot to push the record button. So I did the whole thing, and nothing recorded. What an idiot. Anyway, doing it now. I'm going to fudge the exposures so it will hopefully all match up alright. But let's just keep this between you and me, alright? Nice one. See you later. So good morning, uh, here we are. I've come down to Baker's Wood today. Um, what I'm going to be doing is walking down to Stockgrove Lake where there's a lovely little boathouse uh, that was burnt down in the 1960s, I think. Uh, but it's got the remains of the arches there and it's a sort of lovely scene. So what we're going to do is go and photograph that and then take a little walk around the lake and see if we can find any other compositions. Okay, that's great. So we need to head off this way, it's about a five minutes walk. Let's get cracking. So I've got my first shot set up. It's still looking a bit overcast, which is a real shame, but um gonna still go go ahead anyway got it so you know get, might get something really nice so I got my camera set up at ISO 100 we're looking at about a four second exposure uh, I've got it set to f11 just so I get a nice focus across the frame I'm not going to worry about any focus stacking today uh, I've got these sort of I don't know if you can see but I've got some little bushes and stuff down behind me um, so with the four second exposure, I'm just gonna have to wait for the wind to settle just to make sure they don't get too blurry in my photo. So I'm gonna take a couple of test shots just to see how they come out and just maybe tweak my exposure if I need to and wait to see if the sun uh, pokes its head above the, through the clouds. So I've nearly finished here. Uh, I've taken some bracketed exposures of this composition because I want to just see if I can get back any detail from the sky just because the sunset hasn't turned into anything. And then in a sec, I'm going to take a little walk around the lake and see what else I can find. Uh, I know there's definitely one other composition I want to get of the boathouse from the other side of the lake. And then um, there's a really nice old log that's fallen into the water over there. And I think that might make for an interesting photo as well. I uh, might have to switch to my 70 to 200 for that, but let's wait and see. So I've just walked around the lake uh, just to get a different viewpoint on the boathouse. Uh, now I've got here and they've actually been doing a lot of sort of clearing of the, the edge of the lake. So a bit of a double-edged sword. I've lost a lot of the interest that I was hoping for. Uh, but I do have a, a more undisturbed view of the boathouse. So I'm going to get a nice wide angled shot now. And then I might switch over to my 70 to 200 and just get some more zoomed in shots. So, um, so this shot I've just set up, we got about a one second exposure, F11, ISO 100, and I'm going for about 35 millimeters, uh, just because the foreground is so messy now where they've been doing all the work. Um, so I think, that, but it's actually made quite a nice composition. Uh, I'm gonna flip it to portrait now, 
So I'm gonna, yeah, flip it the portrait just to get a different angle. So there we go. Bonus of an L bracket, by the way. If you don't have an L bracket, best thing you could do, get one. It's so easy to just switch between portrait and landscape shots. So there we go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that in a bit more actually. Go to about, in fact, I'm gonna go all the way to 70 mil. Get that centered in, get it, and I'm gonna to wanna to get this centered in my frame. I'm gonna take out the sky on this one because I feel like there's not enough interest in the sky. But if I get the reflections in, actually that could make quite an interesting shot. It's about a one second exposure, like I said, so that should actually help smooth out the water a little bit anyway. So here we go, let's take the shot. So, switch to my 70 to 200. Don't know if you can see, but I've got my my standard bracket on there for the tripod, just to help balance it out better. Uh, but it's got an adjuster on the lens, so I can easily rotate that round. So that's great. I'll just get it lined back up. So, I'm going to get a picture of this uh, nice log now that's fallen into the water. It's a shame there's quite a lot of weed in the water, so I don't know how smooth this is going to look, but I'm going to give it a go. And if it's any good, you're going to see it on screen any minute now. I've just finished one last composition here of the boathouse from the other side of the lake. Uh, it's actually made quite a nice composition with the evergreen trees in the background, so I'm quite looking forward to editing this one. Anyway, that's it for now. Uh, my stomach is rumbling. I'm going to go get some breakfast. So I will see you all next week. Take care and goodbye.